you guys think that uh, Nimsh, how do you think this pairs up against so basically uh, Warrior? This 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 is the exact same match that I started with against Gara, and I actually lost. But uh, I still feel like Warrior is um, favored mm -hmm. because you have so many tools to stop the, the, the early damage to be able to clear the board. Yeah, and um, and you should be able to actually like stop it and like armor up. You have uh, shield block. You have Alexstrasza if you need it. So in the end, like I feel like Warrior is favored. But with this start, it it looks. Well, hmm. Oh wow, Ragnar's in there. That's not something we usually see in a same deck with the Undertaker. Yeah, could the, that is a little bit weird, but we've already seen that today as well. Um, I'm wondering exactly which list this is. Like, is this the kind of older one that Admirable used, maybe? Could be. Or because that one had it had Rag in it. And Wait, no, did, I don't no, think it had Undertaker, I though. Oh, I, I don't quite remember hmm. what the list was, but uh, is, is it, did he really go with his own deck? <laughs> He oh. may have. It is, oh, it is no. definitely a possibility. It's not going to end well if he, if he with, with less experience, tries mm. to build his own deck. Yeah, the Mad Scientist uh, right now is, is okay, but uh, that Undertaker was kind of wasted. Uh, also, I feel like Ragnaros is actually fitting this deck pretty well. If you have like more mid-range stuff and you follow up with Ragnaros, it's, uh, it's, it's tough to deal with. But, yeah. Uh, and I mean, I guess if uh, your opponent gets a slow start, if he has some duplicates in there and stuff, he can yeah. get some pretty, pretty sick late game plays going on. It can work, but the thing is that with with like the Undertaker type of deck, you you quite often want to finish the game before even you hit the eight. Yeah. And, and because of having that in the hand from the beginning, you might actually miss a drop on, for example, turn three, turn four, because you have less of that stuff in there. And like missing a drop with uh, with an aggressive deck is really bad. You know, I'm trying to figure out exactly what is in this deck. Did we see a duplicate that he uh, mulliganed away at the beginning? I've seen Kieran Tor. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, it was Kieran Tor. You're right. It was Kieran Tor. So there's like secrets in here. There's a lot of aggressive cards and then a rag. And we have seen that in the past sometimes in aggressive decks where they just throw a rag in as like a random finisher towards the end. But definitely not as often. This hand actually looks, looks really awkward. Do you kind of water elemental here? How levels? about you play the uh, little mana worm guy and coin out the arcane? Yeah, that could do it. Uh, that's okay as or well. I think I'd want to. But I, mirror entity would backfire horribly because of the taskmaster. Yeah, I feel like I'd save the mirror entity till an obvious turn where he's going to play something big. Yeah, like turn turn four or turn five. I mean, when he's about to hit the sludge belchers and uh, yeah. Cairn, Cairn and stuff like that. Yeah, never going into turn four. Turn four plays yeah, don't really going exist. Going into turn five, it would be pretty good. I think. Yeah. By the way, um, Trump is playing Sarah, so it seems like his uh, warrior deck is more uh, like greedy one. Yeah. Instead of like fighting against minions, he he has Sarah. I'm, I'm sure he has a face this as well if you're running this. Yeah, that's kind of bad for Trump, I think, for a matchup like this. But yeah. it, it can work against other control decks, but usually like uh, uh, many warrior decks are play either, either Sarah or Alex Strasser, not both. So, um, I personally, I like the Alex Raza over Ysera because yeah. of how, how in control match up you can bring your opponent down to be ready for the Chromash and stuff, but you know, who knows? He could play both. I'm, I'm pretty okay with him having a Ysera in here because at, like when I look at that, whenever Ysera is popular, that's when we're in a pretty control-heavy metagame, if you ask me. And uh, you know, in a, a setup like this, with this many well-known pros, and the fact that, generally speaking, in tournaments like this, we see a lot of control decks, I think you could add Ysera to any control deck, and it isn't like a terrible call, because it helps so much in that control versus control in the very, very late game. I agree. It's like when you're going for the attrition war, at some point, um, both players run out of cards, run out of removal, and then you slam Ysera, and from there, if there is no answer, you just win. Cards like you said around Black Knight are really horrible against, uh, for example, Hunter. Yeah. So I guess Trump's game plan is uh, to take out the Hunter with uh, with his priest probably, because th this warrior is not meant yeah. to play against Hunter. No, all. certainly. So you you can uh, quite often you can build your warrior to be good against Hunter, but this is not one of those times. I wonder, because uh, he didn't ban Hunter, so I guess yeah, no. his priest might be like the death yeah. rattle priest. I, or I something. think he's relying on the priest to take out Hunter. Mm. Right, so a second secret comes out. That first one, we're not exactly sure what it is, right? The one that came out from the Mad Scientist. I don't think we actually have to see. I haven't seen it. I didn't see that. By the way, the weapon Trump is... didn't even check it, I don't so there's, think. There's Mirror Entity and the other one we don't know of now. Weapon okay. is a nice well, it's not a duplicate, so I would guess a counterspell? Possibly. Yeah, it could be. 
I guess it could be like an ice block or something, but I, I don't think well, I'd see an ice block in this. Quite deck. often those two go together. Like if you play mirror entity, then you play also counter spell. Yeah. If you play duplicate, then you also play ice block. Yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah, but still, this this mage deck looks pretty interesting right now with more like mid game cards and draw. There there was. He had some good cards for the start, but uh, it seems like the order that he played them and drew into them was kind of weird, and Champ had the mm. answers. This yeah. is, uh, like Warrior tends to be really good against Mage, but he does have some some late game in the Mage deck. And uh, if he plays, for let's say, uh, Antonidas and stuff like that, he might be able to upset Trump here, but uh, it's still an uphill battle. Yeah, yeah. But you know, Antonidas with no spells in hand, I mean, Fireball is not the best yeah. spell to follow up. That's well, I true. mean, it, here's the thing no matter what, he has Frostbolts in there, and he has, he's probably playing four secrets, is my guess. So he'll have spells by the time that, that comes around. Oh, no. Well, that wasn't the greatest <laughs> mirror edit yet. No, no. I guess he gains a little bit of armor. <laughs> <laughs> Which is going to go away immediately, of course. Well, the weapon judge is at least gone now. Still, the, we the weapon draw was so important there. He was able to deal with the board and he was able to stop Lothab from being played. Uh huh. He'll help a lot. Sludge belt. This is getting really interesting. But I mean, it looks like Hasubs is playing quality cards anyway. Yeah. Like the good cards mage deck. Yeah. It's something that we've seen uh, pop up time and again, actually. I'm not sure like what the theme is and how does this deck like flow. When do you usually win the game and what do you usually win with? Because uh. like this, quite often whatever your deck or class you're playing, there's like a clear claim, game plan on how how you how you end the games. Like for example, for the warrior, it's like Chrome and Cruel uh, Taskmaster. But with this mage deck, I really don't know. Yeah, I think it has to be right? duplicate based. Yeah, it seems, yeah, it seems uh, so. I mean, it, it looks like a deck that starts with like Undertaker and Mana Worm, then goes into maybe Knife Juggler and Harvest Golem, and then uh, quickly switches to. If he's Azure playing Knife Jake. Juggler in here, I don't know anything anymore. Uh, but I, I don't yeah. like that. Can't fit right. Look at all these quality cards he has. Like you know, he's playing two Sludge. Most, in fact, that's his second Water Element. So now we know yeah. he's playing two of those. If you're playing Duplicates, I mean, a second Azure Drake wouldn't be dumb. Yeah, we have all this late game. Like I, I feel like the Undertaker is the card that's throwing us all for a loop here. Yeah, the, the hype makes for Mage, for example, it really relies on the duplicate. It's like the key card in there. <laughs> but we saw that House who have two, two secrets up, and uh, oh, yeah, and also Undertaker. He had two secrets up, and it was not a duplicate. So uh, yeah, it, it could be like a. I think we are confused because his hand is just terrible. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, uh, oh, there's no. there's truth in that, Nimsh. <laughs> That was probably the worst card he could have played, aside from Fireball. Well, the Black I mean, Knight value is going to be great. I would uh, really love to see either Water Elemental ping or the Drake. I mean, he doesn't need the yeah. taunt there. Yeah, like he could have yeah. pinged off this 2-1. Uh, he didn't need a taunt there at all. He could have just went for like a stronger play, so to say. Mm. Yeah, I would have liked the uh, Water Elemental, no doubt. Uh. Yeah, but I mean, if there was no Black Knight, I guess that could have, would have matched it up all right against the, the Armorsmith and the Taskmaster. Yeah. Okay, Second Undertaker is not... Um, not the draw he's looking the... for. <laughs> also, uh, no. then like Sludge Belcher and playing Sludge Belcher before is kind of wasteful because now he doesn't have any Defrattle cards in hand. And, uh, you know, playing Undertaker for one mana and being uh, turning into a 2-3... That's it's not the good. worst thing. It's and I think it's going to sit in his hand until that time comes. There's like no reason to play it before then. I would say. Well, but, what do you do now? Is uh, like Lothab and Ping. <laughs> no, I, I. Well, the thing is, I, I think I would have. Drake. Fireball. He yeah. could, he could, I would have probably Drake and then Ping the Black Knight. So, yeah. So it would it would get the Drake. Yeah, it makes so next sense. Next turn he has um, he has eight mana, so he could potentially like Water Elemental and Fireball whatever, drum plays. Yeah, I would like to see the Azure. It kind of fits the curve. I feel like he needs to draw into something else because this hand is kind of garbagey. I think so, though. He might not be thinking even about Azure Drake because it's a 4-4. So he's like, if I play it, he just kills it. So there's no yeah. point. If, if he plays the Drake, he definitely has to ping the Black Knight. Yeah. Okay. So, well, I, I think that's okay. I guess he'll still... Yeah, that's all right. I guess just ping face here. Yeah. <laughs> Such a strong Fire Blast. Mm. Well, this does stop him from killing it with the shield block, which is nice. Harrison Jones. Well, that's not going to do a whole lot against the mage. By the way, it's been a long time since we've seen Trump in a tournament, huh? 
Oh, wow. Well, Sham was actually playing in uh, wow. Heroes of Cards and... Uh, Oh, I mean, uh, offline event. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, Trump is like doesn't like traveling that much, so. Yeah. Yeah, we were actually talking about it, and the last time, last live event he was playing was the OGN. Yeah. Wow. That's, where we, where that's we been were a long as time. Well. Yeah, it's me like as well, year. actually. Um, well, he almost made it to WCA. Apparently, he missed his flight. Oh really? Okay. That well. <laughs> there wasn't, I, that happens sometimes. There was some discussions about uh, not possessing a visa, but uh, apparently Trump had a visa. He just uh. missed it. Oh well. Well, anyways, he is here, and I'm a little bit surprised by Gromash's removal there, to be honest. I'm not really understanding why. Well, I guess you do Fireball now. Yeah, yeah, Fireball Water Elemental is like an autoplay. Looked like he might have been thinking about Rag for just a second, but I don't think that would ever be correct here. But yeah, that... I guess, I mean, Gromash does trade for two cards. I just, I feel like whenever I see people just throw Gromash out for removal, I don't like it. Because it's like the kill card in the warrior deck that you're looking for, but uh, he's definitely got himself in a nice position here now. Well, now Hasuops is in trouble because there's no way to remove the Isera. Actually, yeah. uh, about the Gromash removal, since we see the Isera potentially over to Alex Raza, his win condition is different than from the Alex mm, Raza deck. Okay. Because if, if you run the Alex Raza, then you hold down to the Chrome. But yeah, yeah, that makes perfect but, sense. Uh, Trump's style is like more board control. Mm. So well, we, that Ysera yeah. might go unanswered completely here. Yeah. Like, unless he it's, drops Azure and draws into a Polymorph that we don't even know if he plays. And with how many cards that we've seen, these different cards, I don't think he has enough room to even have a Polymorph in there. Yeah, that's like a huge problem. He also has to, if he doesn't have an ice block up, he has to really worry about not just dying next turn. Yeah. I like the rag here. I think he had to risk it. Yeah. See what this hits. Okay, uh, not the worst hit. I yeah. would not want it to hit the warrior's face, that's for sure. Oh, oh, he does play both. So this is the greedy version of a warrior. Yes, this is very greedy. I yeah. wonder if he is running faces as well. But right now it's like he's in a good position overall. He certainly can, is. You can kill Ragnaros with Nightmare into Black Knight if you really want to. You can. Uh, yeah, you could Alex draws him and hit for a whole bunch, but. I, would expect, I mean, he could also go offensive, but uh, I'm pretty sure he's just gonna clear as much as he can. Yeah, I would. I would say that ever since like we saw just the the Rag drop that turn against the Ysera on board, I think. Playing Alex Straza and nightmaring your your Black Knight to kill this off is like what? really good oh. play, and that was a counter spell. Okay, so yeah, really good play by him to get rid of that too, because I think for sure he's gonna nightmare. Because yeah. I mean, if you have an eight eight out now plus a couple other reasonably sizable minions, that's it. Kind of didn't matter which one got counter spell, so because uh, he's still gonna like use one one of the spells to take out the yeah, Black Knight. Yeah, he will have but, four more. But he is not at least. This way, he's not uh, required to spend two mana armoring if he mm -hmm. wants to do something else. Like he can also Alex Straza. By the way, he could also silence the Black Knight if needed. Wow. Oh yeah, he could. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd like that play as no, much. Probably wouldn't fit here. <laughs> Four two. Ugh. Oh, there is Dutch Butcher, but um, Trump got Dream, so. Such virtue won't be that good. Yeah, he has it answered multiple times. He can even ignore the taunt with the spellbreaker. Is or there, he can tree. Is there any way for Hasu to actually win this game still? No. Well, he has to he has to kill off this Ysera, right? And that still leaves eight damage that's gonna hit him. He needs to Azure Drake into a polymorph, I think. And well, then like uh, kill off the Ysera and poly poly the Alex Yeah, I like guess that. he wants to Azure Drake anyway, and then whatever he draw you can play Slash Belcher. Yeah. And that Black Knight is just going to die by itself. Yeah, I definitely think he's Drake first before doing anything else. Yeah, there's no point in attacking. Is he not going to Drake? He is going to Drake, but uh, you know it's... Oh wait, is he going to play Sludge Belcher and then Drake? Uh, I don't know if he's... Uh, he's just going to play out onto the board, Drake. get a bunch of stuff out there. Interesting. I would have preferred to see the Drake over the Horder and the, the Kirin Tour. Mm. Maybe he wants to have like more pressure on board to be able to somehow... Yeah, I guess that's a bit... Well, I guess he's... Uh, the thing is, if there wasn't Dream here... Well, I guess he has Spellbreaker too, so... This was never going to go well for him. <laughs> well, he's not dead yet. That is true. Uh, this is not looking good, though. I feel like I would... Uh, 
just bounce this with the dream, go to face, play out a couple minions, because that plus you have a spell breaker, you know he's gonna replay the sludge belch next turn. That's five of his mana used up, and you're just gonna silence it and then kill him. You can basically play Cairn, then uh, armor up, dream the belcher, play unstable ghoul, attack face. Yeah. And that's such a I think that's turn. so strong. There's like nothing he can do against that. Like so much of his mana is gonna be used up next turn on things like the Belcher, so yeah, I think there are a few options, but uh, all of all of the good plays seem to include the Cairn to me. It has to be the Cairn. Yeah. Love this music. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hearts the music. I've heard this song a few times. <laughs> yeah, a couple. It just keeps getting better and better. It gets better and better. When I play StarCraft, I turn this music on. <laughs> If I played StarCraft, I would also... <laughs> I never do. Another Mirror Entity. Yeah. So he has Azurjake, Sludge Belcher, and Mirror Entity, but not enough minerals. No. no, he certainly does not have enough minerals. And even if he did, it would not change anything here. He's uh -oh. gotta... Alright, he has to draw from there. Yeah, he has to Azure. Yeah. Oh yeah, I may as well just draw like that, no point not to. Oh, that might oh. keep him alive for one more turn. Yeah, it's like right now it's about trying to stay alive. Hey, I mean, one more turn. Yeah, that's that's actually good. Till I draw the miracle card. So being that, then well, he needs the frost bolt. Yeah. Well, I, he can use know. his water elemental to freeze one of these things, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, he can, he, can, he can survive. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, well, no, he can't actually because this, this is a spell breaker. The spell breaker was so silenced and extra. Oh, so he needs to right. play the taunt and freeze both of those. Kills. Can he? Well, he has kill to kill it. Yeah. Can he? Can he like freeze Alex Strasser okay, twice? Okay, he it. So he can actually survive here. Oh wow! Wait, no. Oh, okay. Oh okay. See, the way he That's chose to survive is like basically what you would think, but there is a spell breaker here. Yeah. Most warriors nowadays are playing one silence. Yeah, so. though he, I, I think he still made, made the right play. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think that was just, that was correct. That seemed really smart, yeah. but uh, definitely was not enough there. So Trump gonna go ahead take game one with his warrior over mage. He looks so happy. <laughs> yeah, he looks really ecstatic excited. to me. Uh, can't contain it. Uh, in all these different matchups, which actually makes sense when you think about it when he hasn't played as much as some of the other pros here. You know, sometimes there's these little intricacies uh, about which deck beats which because of just a few cards, like you were saying. Uh, the Hunter deck would be a good pick because he has Black Knight, as you say, it's a little bit slower. Uh, you know, it's missing some of those earlier anti-aggro. So things like that, uh, he's a little bit nervous about. But you know, it's tough, so it's um, it's no wonder, because the, the, those different decks, they have different variations as well. It's like, you feel like Hunter is good versus Warrior, and then there is a different version of Hunter, yeah. it's suddenly bad, so... Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, well, let's take a look at these hands. So, really slow hand. Yeah, super slow hands, and Hasselhoff is yeah. actually playing a Control Paladin, uh, so that's pretty nice. I mean, a Protoss player playing the Control Paladin, yeah. we'll see how it goes. that's what I would expect from him. He's actually... In StarCraft, he's known as one of the players that takes the longest to kill his opponents. Like, he's very defensive. Like, insanely, insanely defensive. And, like, even when his opponent, he could probably go and attack and kill him, he won't do it. He'll just sit back and just basically wait till the, the StarCraft equivalent of fatigue. Oh, so we are going to be um, watching a very exciting game then. <laughs> uh, Hero Power Pass is one of my favorite moves in this game. So As you guys well know. Crip actually like explained it to me, and it's like in this matchup you really want to create the dudes, and like yeah. so many dudes that the warriors like, yeah, I have to remove the dudes, and you create more dudes, and they spend the removal. Yeah, and uh, you know it's like there's no armor. Yeah, the it, the hero power just matches up so well in these control matchups because like look at that, he has three one ones for no cards. That's pretty awesome. Like right now with this sword, he can kill this off for half a card. But he's using all the dudes. Yeah, but I mean, using half a card to kill a Sludge Belcher, you are not going to get a better deal than that. It's a Sludge Belcher. That thing is so annoying. I would just blame him for playing his own Sludge here. But oh, I, yeah, yeah. Because the Trump's coin is gone. So with the Belcher, he's actually guaranteed now that there won't be an instant Black Knight. Mm. Uh, Savitz, what do you think about the Warrior's hand, by the way, for this matchup? He's kind of overdose on the weapons. But uh, it's not a disaster. I mean, the Harrison buys him more time. Faceless can be good. Yeah, in I fact, if, it's he, all right. if he played that sword, uh, that Harrison would come right out and just have a happy time. Or do you like uh, to save this, actually, in this matchup for 
Uh, Ashbringer. Uh, probably not. It, it's a bit situational. You, you can save it if, if, it's, if it looks like a, that uh, the game is gonna go long. Mm -hmm. But if you land it on an early true silver, I think it's usually worth it because you can kind of like uh, get the board snowballing in your favor. But if, it, if it's like mid game, then you probably wanna hold on to it. Well, looks like a nice little move there to get rid of his opponent's Belcher with his own Belcher. Yeah. By the way, why, how yes. is Paladin winning this game? Like, Paladin will be trying to, to keep control of the board. Like, just. I guess spawn the board, right? Because warrior is simple. Like play Alex Chaza, yeah. kill them with Grom. Yeah. I, in my opinion, the way to play this is you hold on to some heal spells. After they play Alex Chaza, you heal up, and you just deal yeah. with all their threats. Because warrior runs out of threats really quickly. I mean, Paladin never really like kills the opponent. Yeah. It's just, it just outlasts them. So once the warrior is out of cards, then the Paladin wins. Kind of. That's usually how it goes. Well, it seems like this style really fits Hasu up. So. I might be trusting if he steals the game here from Trump. I believe we're gonna see a Cairn, then we're gonna see a Faceless, and then we're gonna see another Faceless. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, think you're right. Oh, could, right could, there's also Sylvanas. Oh my god. Are those so many Cairns? How are we going to cope with this? Uh, you know, the more corn the better, man. It's... <laughs> <laughs> all that corn. Yeah, all those corns Ka out there. Cairn, you Faceless here. Yeah. Yeah, it has to be You a have faceless. to Faceless it. And, uh, I mean... I guess you could like kill their first copy of corn with with the weapon and the tutu, but but then we will have so many currents on board. All that corns. I mean, but the Hasuops does have the Sylvanas too, so maybe they won't. Oh, oh, oh my God, no corn! What is? Oh, you know what? I think that Trump right now is playing greedy. I think he's like, I'm gonna copy Tyrion. <laughs> huh. Right? Like, there's not a Paladin deck that doesn't play Tyrion. So wait, wow. maybe Hasuops will keep his faces to copy Tyrion as well. Oh boy, copy oh, the copy, Tyrion. Don't. Just copy that. Yeah, yeah you gotta, you gotta. So much power. Karn is like the best card against Warrior. I love that thing. Warrior, against... Warrior has to usually like spend two cards to just kill one, and if he has, if he has two Cairns, it's like four cards. If you, <laughs> if you were to pick a StarCraft unit that's similar to Karen, what would you pick? Uh, uh that's a good question. Karn is like uh, a swarm host or something. It's a lot of value. <laughs> Those corns. <laughs> Those corns, man. <laughs> Just play the faces. Thank you. Yeah, faces into Karen is really nice. So maybe Trump will be now thinking like, hey, oh my god, maybe I should copy one too. Oh, that's <laughs> a nice play. I want to do that. <laughs> yeah. I can do it myself. Let's go with it. Oh, well, that's that's pretty good. Oh, oh, oh Artos, do you see the, the cards in Trump's hand on the right? Yeah, yeah, I see there's like a faceless, then over a couple from there, there's a Savannah's. I mean, he could Harrison here, but there's no weapon. <laughs> Just through a Sylvanas. So, it's like Sylvanas or Sylvanas Execute. Sylvanas Execute, what do you think about it? <laughs> it's, a, it's a strong play. Yeah, he could get rid of one of the corns. Yeah, but... He, <laughs> I mean, he can get rid of both corns if he wants to give up, like... Well, the thing is, I want to get rid of this 1-1, one, one, right? Oh, I guess you could do all of that. Actually, now that I'm looking at it. By the way, Sylvanas is such a nice card. When, when you are facing double care, your opponent's oh, yeah. opposing board, it's like, yeah. I'm, I'm gladly playing it. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, that's... But Hasweb's is not... Completely screwed because he does have a silence and he also has a zone Sylvanas if he wants to do that, but probably just gonna silence it. Oh, this board is getting pretty difficult, by the way. Yeah, this is getting pretty complicated. Uh, the thing is that 1 1 token is kind of messing up with the Sludge Belcher at 1 health. I really wouldn't yeah, like he, that. He has to take it out. Yeah. I was a bit surprised that he used his Cruel Dust Master over the weapon, but like, because uh, he has he's so many weapons. armor. Oh, he's okay. not. Okay. I'm not too surprised to see it like that. So he leaves one corn left. You can still copy it next turn. Yeah, you could, or maybe even... Mm. Is there any value in uh, Aldering Savannas? Uh, you could Silencer an Aldor. Silence plus Aldor is actually a pretty decent play. I think there was a small misplay by Trump there. 
he could have kept the cruel taskmaster alive if he killed the one one instead of the instead of attacking into the cairn. Because he could add just the, the slime his, that he had to damage. His weapon the, and then yeah. proc kill, with the Kill off one the one. first part with the weapon yeah. and then proc the execute with the 1-1. One one. Yeah, you're actually sure. completely right on that. So it, it's just a tiny mistake. The sequence, but, sequencing was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Well, also right well that now, makes a big difference too. I mean, having a 2-1 right here would be yeah, a lot better. it would help a bit. Do you play... Oh, okay. Maybe not. I mean, I'm thinking about playing Museum the weapon boys. here. <laughs> Museum boys. Oh, God. Museum boys always work. Do you want to play Armorsmith? Or like... Huh. You know, this is so annoying with the one... With the dude out, like, look at this. Normally you could, yeah. like, kill off the Karn. And... I like I like Acolyte, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I like Acolyte, too, because then he forces it to... The Cairn potentially to attack into it instead of like killing off. So you would go face with Sylvanas, or would you take out the two one? Uh, probably take out the two one with the five five to play a little bit around. Like, and the force like force Cairn to attack. Force current. There's yeah. A, there's a lot of like plays that can be justified. But yeah, I I, I think you drop the acolyte. Then, then you just choose whether you kill off, kill off the owl or if you go face. Interesting. He, he has the Alex Straza in his hand, so going face is kind of uh, irrelevant. So a lot of players are, are, are saying that there is not much skill in Hearthstone, but I, I'm looking at this and it's there's so much meaning in yeah. choosing your target. There like, really is. Oh, he's got a... I'm actually a little bit surprised by that move yeah, uh, because I, I actually... Yeah, I don't like that move because leaving that so that a dude can kill it that's what a dude wants. Well, the thing is, like, that's right, what a dude needs. Right now, he is forcing Bane to attack into, um, into Harrison Jones. So possibly yeah. the board will get cleared. Yeah, yeah, uh, good chance that that's going to occur here. Bond can trade very easily with with uh, Harrison <laughs> here. That Bond, man, Bond blood hoof. Corn blood hoof, those are annoying cards, man. Yeah. Just like getting a kernel Wait, of corn in your like teeth. Bond? The valley. A bit sad we're not gonna see any more corns this game. Or just Trump still have. Yeah. Maybe Trump still has yeah, one. Yeah, Trump might still have one. He could hold down to the faces for his. Yeah, hold on. Corn. And then have a double corn. Yeah. No, he's saving his faceless for. Uh, Tyrion. Yeah, yeah, Tyrion. Yeah, you're right. No doubt, like that—that that was such a greedy play. I felt, uh, but you know, it's fine if that's actually his plan for dealing with Tyrion. All right, so Bond should be taking that out, keeping himself alive. But oh. that leaves like a uh, nice no, card he, draw for Acolyte. At yeah, least. He has to oh, take, okay, never take, mind. Take out the Acolyte, yeah. Of course, that you makes. Wanna, you want to deny the Warriors? Cause. Yeah. Also, there's like no point in killing the one four. But, so uh, this board is is tricky. Do you play Sarah here? Ah. I mean, he could go for, like, Awakens, I guess. <laughs> Wait, it, well, it, you know what is kind of cool about Ysera? Ysera, the way you have to deal with Ysera is equality combos. Yeah. And you don't want equality with a sick board like this. Okay, so there's, <laughs> like, there's like Awakens and no Awakens. Okay. Because, yeah. yeah. like, all the, what I meant by that was that all the other cards are nowhere near as relevant oh, as What, what about Laughing Sister? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, she's no. a problem. Bad. Yeah, laughing, laughing sister, you keep coming in my hand. Laughing brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sarah Wiggins is just too good here. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. And uh, the, the, the question is if Hasuops is actually playing around it. Because he has to drop the Sylvanas. Sylvanas and the uh, Senjin? And then your board just disappears. Also, it would be so funny to play your own Sylvanas and... Uh, and How would it work? Weekends. Yeah, he would get the, he will get the user back. How soon will first get it and then? Yeah, that's the. That might actually. That might actually happen. If he could see the hand, <laughs> I think he would run all of his minions into this Ysera, and that would be that. Uh, yeah, because yeah, that you, is rough. If you, like, if, you, if you commit your whole board here, it's Sylvanas and Senshin. And it seems so... Okay. Oh, he's actually just going to do it! Wow. Oh, he actually heard you! <gasps> no, he didn't. Oh my god. Yep, that's the right hey, play, as we can see. It is actually the right play, so good on him. Yeah, I mean... Oh my god, double Holy Light. 
Interesting. Uh, he could uh, just throw one on the low tip, in my opinion. I oh, I, mean, I thought he, he, he did. It looked he, like the way yeah, his mouse he moved. He was considering. He kind of revealed. I think Trump's spot that that uh, mouse movement there. Yeah, I would imagine. Trump is really good at spotting mouse but movements. I, I yeah. guess, to be honest, like uh, no one has instant whirlwind effects anymore. Like everyone uses unstable ghoul and uh, death spite, so he can always do it next turn. Oh, it actually, he could play another weapon over this weapon. Just destroyed right now. Like he could actually use this attack in his engine and play his other weapon yeah, and I clear that board. Can also just play uh, the double oh, oversmith and ghoul. And that's cool. I, yeah, definitely oh. hold down to the awake. And oh wait, wait, wait! Is he going now. to throw a weapon? Yeah, yeah. This is going for this it. is so okay. beautiful. Look at that. Look at that play. Yes, oh, that much. armor. This is a that lot of armor hard work. value. Oh my god. I would have probably just drop the ghoul and let that finish the job. Well, Hasso is not dead yet. Look at <laughs> the That was so much fuel. fancier yeah, than it Savis. was. It was a lot fancier, I agree. There's there's style points, you know? And now we can cast like a set of awakens and get so much armor again. Okay, would you guys consider going for uh, Lay on Hands here? Because I certainly would. Yeah, I mean, this it's board painful. is... It's so risky. If there's, a, if there's an Alex Ross... But he has double Holy Light in hand. Uh, yeah, what if there's an Alexstrasza? Look at this board. This board is non-existent. It's just three points of attack. Like, if Alexstrasza comes out, you can do an equality combo. But the, I mean, the, the thing about holding on to Leon Hans is so that he can heal up. After. Yeah, but he has double Holy Light. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's like 12 health fair. for four mana. Like, the thing is, I this is the type of board I love to play Leon Hands into because there's nothing threatening here, really. You know, this is just like, you have plenty of health, you're not going to die. He has three points of damage on board, and you're you have an equality combo in hand. So if stuff gets out of hand, you just deal with it. Yeah, I like the. Oh no! Oh, I don't like this. That's that's not, not knowing right how Alex Trezor works, I guess. Yeah. I think this might be one of those moments where like inexperience is yeah. a little bit kicking in. Yeah, just throwing away the card for free. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at 23 health, you are just so safe. Oh, and he oh. didn't make a dude. Look at that. That's it's a corn. corn. Looks like he's. Oh, another corn. Yeah. Tell you, man. <laughs> yeah, the Sylvanas is just going to die. <laughs> oh, that's Harrison at one one. I, f I think I will actually <laughs> give him back the Harrison. I will attack with Armor Smiths and then. Okay. Oh, okay. He's just losing the whole boat. Sure. Eh, I that's, think it's fine. Weird. Those things did their job. And now we can develop the. Oh, I would go Karen first for sure. It's yeah. more sticky and also like uh, having it on the board. He can also yeah. he can attack the same turn as he plays the Alexstrasza. And you haven't seen the quality. Yeah, I agree with there you. There also yeah. could be a big game hunter. And we actually, I think we saw it in the Mulligans that there is one big game hunter in Hasub's deck, but he does not have it in his hand. Mm. Ooh, Aldor, that's a great draw. I would a thousand percent Aldor here and just use a Holy Light and make a dude. Yeah, you're just escaping reach. Like, whatever happens, there's only like, what, 12, 15, 16 tops. Mm. I think the reason he played this is because he saw that Holy Light come out. But I think he, but at the same time, you would always attribute that Holy Light to being a misplay. So I think that this was a mistake from Trump, basically, no matter what. Like, I really, I think he should have played the corn. Yeah, I think so, too. But this was a good response by Hasselhoff. That's exactly what he needed to do. That works. It still looks pretty good for Trump. I mean, he has he has Karen, he has uh, killing Alex Straza, killing dudes yeah. for the next eight turns. Yeah, Gordon here for sure. Do you shield block first? I guess. Yeah. If, what if else? He, oh, there is Gromash. Oh my God! Look at this hand. Like, yeah, that's that, a good card. I'm sorry. Gromash <laughs> with a oh, wait. Sarah with the is so it's much damage. Sick. Yeah, that is, isn't it? You know what? You could actually consider going for phase there. Huh? Yeah, I might have just to set up the lethal for next turn with the care. What is the lethal? Mm. That's 4, 17. And uh, that's 15, so yeah. really close. So now he doesn't have it. So there could be a fire lord, but that would actually backfire. That's the faceless. Oh boy. Well, still, he's got a, a very solid board here. Asuab's in some trouble. Okay, so I, realistically, I think it's like, do you lay on hands or do you rag? You lay yes, on hands. That's definitely a better play. First of all, the Alex Truss is already gone and uh, Trump plays a faceless in there. I don't know if Sasu saw it last game, I can't quite remember. Well, I guess he just gets a clear next turn. Well, kind of clear. Half Interesting. Clear. So many, Sarah. The, the bond is still gonna be there. Yeah, there'll still be a bond out. I, man, all these corns and bonds. 
Well, you do faces here and just go face. Yeah, I think so too. He has a black knight for the potential Tyrion too. It's looking so good for Trump right now. And Warrior is proving to be an MVP of this tournament. I mean... Huh. Has it really been? I, I missed I mean, some of the games earlier on, so I'm not completely caught up. Well, it, it was for me, basically. I, I lost to Warrior, um, I think, four times. Really? It's, wow. It's, it's like eight games. Ouch. Maybe it wasn't that prominent in other games. <gasps> Another corn! So many. God. This wow. is the US so, government sub subsidizing these corns? How many have we seen this game? Four. I, almost enough to make a Coca-Cola. Um, I have no comment to that. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was even worse than Don't need sugar, man. Just high fructose corn syrup. Uh, well, I mean... <laughs> I guess that you got a quality consecrate, right? Or it doesn't really do anything. I mean, the bonds are well, still going to be there. Well, Alex Straza is potentially dead. The quality consecration. I mean, all it does is it takes one power off the board. Yeah, but you got to deal with all this eventually. Yeah. You can't be a complete pessimist about it. Oh wait, how about this? Um, Urag. Wait, could you go pyro? Wait, 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 wait. I'm almost there. Con pyro. Yeah. Consecrate. No, wait, that doesn't quite work because like you miss out on the second mana. thing. You mean like double consecrate or something? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out a way to make this math add up, but it doesn't if, quite if work. If he had 12 mana, he could go like consecrate, then wild pyro, consecrate, and then equality. That would clear. But uh, it's difficult to get 12 mana as a paladin. Yeah, it's quite difficult indeed. It's a challenge. Is he right? I'm trying to think of a way, and it's just, just nothing's coming up. Yeah, he's so going pyro. Huh. Okay. What was the other card? Oh, he's playing True Silver. True Silver, True oh, Silver. Right. Is he going to just kill Alex? I'm a little bit surprised on the way that this uh, went down huh. here. All huh. right. He's like setting up for the clear next turn. Yeah, for a possible equality. 15 plus 9, so that's game then. Just Can he spot Lidl yeah, then? Just attack first with everything and then go for the Chrome. Man. Yeah. Yeah, Grump always gets. Trump would never do that kind of sequencing error. He's way too good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, he is counting now. Yeah. It's down to 14. 9. 15. 24. Can he spot lethal? Sure. He is thinking about lethal. Oh, he got it. He got the math right. Well, this uh, does not bode well for Hasuobs. Well, going down 0-2 and losing his Protoss deck. Um, yeah, stuff. yeah. You know, that might be uh, the deck that best shows like uh, the type of player Hasuobs generally is. But uh, Trump does end up taking it down there. I do feel like we saw maybe like a couple play mistakes yeah, in that series. I think um, overall, like, Hasuobs played fairly well. Yeah, and just definitely. That, even, even if he didn't like Hunter. Yeah, so... So Druid is the better choice. I think, yeah, I think Druid has a better, better chance of yeah. take, taking uh, not just one game, but three games. Yeah, I definitely do agree with that. Like, so the thing is, Hunter is so funny. I'm sure oh, wow. that we're going to have plenty of series this weekend that go 3 over for Hunter, but... <laughs> So he is That's playing kind of like a Colento midrange druid, or maybe. <sighs> oh, yeah, this seems like a Colento druid. Yeah, I right? think that this is the Colento deck, yeah. And if you want to free up with druid, you have to uh, draw a wild gross. Yeah, yeah, I mean, is he going for turn 3 corn? Uh, he definitely could the, be. The wild growth kind of opens. Or something. Let's see. I'm actually interested to see what line of play he picks. Oh, okay. That's, I actually wow. don't, don't think that's a good draw with just yeah. this. Yeah. No, look at Not that yet. hand. That's four mana cards. Mm -hmm. That's like... Okay, he coins this out. Yeah. Well, now he really has to draw into the five drops. Uh, uh, I don't generally... Yeah, if he draws into a five drop, that's nice. But I don't generally like coining that out when you don't actually have a turn. Oh, when next you don't have play. a three mana play. Yeah, I really... I personally really dislike that. But, uh, you know, as you said, with that Innervate out, there's a lot of good five drops in the deck. Like, if he just suddenly gets out a Spectral Knight, oh god, <laughs> what do you do there? Yeah, it's it's kind of tricky for the Warrior to deal with. They usually have to, like, swing at it twice with the weapon, and that's... 12. 12, yeah, <laughs> including the one attack on the turn. It might pay off because he has an Innervate, so I'd say, like, this gamble uh, is that bad. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, I would have played either Armor Smith or Fire Warrior there for sure if I was strong. And uh, oh, you called it. Oh, wow. Spectral Knight. Man, is it like the best play you can have against a warrior? Yeah, turn two Spectral Knight is good. pretty decent. I've like, had it backfire a couple of times. Once against Golento in VGV, I did like some play like that, and there was like unstable ghoul into a uh, dead spite, because that's like two plus four, and that's yeah. kind of clean way to deal with it. But uh, well, there is no a dead spite, ghoul. but there's no there's no ghoul yet. Yeah, well, that, that's actually that's a really really clean way to deal with it. Well, now he can act a second to it twice with fireworks, so this knight so can a little bit painful. It's gonna deal the twelve. Then. Twelve points of damage. It's a lot, but uh, yeah. you know he could he could still come back from that because that's twelve points of damage. Well, let's not forget three cards were used to get the spectral knight out. Yeah, there's a lot used, but I, I think the Hazuops has to deal at the ancient of lores as soon as possible. If he gets the lores, he, he he's gonna be doing well, but uh, without that, he's gonna run out of cards before yeah, before he gets all the damage in the run out of gas. Well, the thing is, I mean, he still has the board, and um, as soon as he gets the combo, he might actually get Tramp low enough and, you know, yellow it. I mean, he is top decking. Yeah, but that's also like part of the why, why he needs the why he needs the, the lore so badly, because he, he it's kind of unlikely that he would draw the combo in time without it. Because mm. if he draws the combo pieces, then he doesn't have creatures to play. So it's like... Got you. Yeah. Well, he has Cairn, but on the other hand, Tramp actually has a Spellbreaker, so... Karen won't be that tough to deal with. The Spellbreaker might be a bit awkward with the mana, though. Plus Keep... 6 mana Karen is just always good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, Tr turn Tr 4. But uh, Trump doesn't have like anything to do with the, with the 1 extra, I guess. It's kind of weak. Yeah, this poetry. turn 5 is just terrible. Huh. I would actually probably play the Dead Spite Dead Spite then sack Karen? Then, uh... Wait, do you give up your... No, I mean, just have it ready for next turn. Like, okay. Dead Spite then... And then maybe, silence maybe he, and kill he, it. He, he, he hit a spider and, uh, and kill one of the small spiders with the armor smith. Then set up for the spell breaker for following turn. Yeah, oh yeah, your... yeah, I like that a lot actually. That sounds really good. Because then he can like cleanly kill it with the like silence yeah. it and then then just use the death rattle. To and if he it. can stabilize in the next couple turns here, and Hasobs is drawing cards like Swipe or Wrath or you know mm -hmm. Keepers of the Grove, these are like yeah. not the draws he needs right now. No, not at all. Even though like he's. Getting some value out of he has dealt quite a bit places. of damage, but that's why I, I, I don't really like druids in this form because you're really uh, you don't have many options. Like you're forced to just throw your hand, and then every turn you just play one card and stuff. That's why uh, I really like Malgus druid with so much stuff happening there. But um, but yeah, mm -hmm. this this deck is really strong anyway. I mean, he just I think he drew. Oh, see wow. now that's but can he can he pull the trigger? I mean, it's it's a mistake the newer players often like. Uh, Make that they wait too long with that. They wait I, for a combo. I, I kind of feel like he actually should go for it right now. I mean, the that's... savage roar like really bring him low, make that weapon just completely unusable. I, I I would actually really 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 like. I think that might be a game winning move here to roar. It'd be. Let's see. And what about Sticks. keeper? Probably. Uh, hold on to the keeper. Probably hero power and then then use the hero to take out the armor smith because otherwise it can it can maybe get multiple damage in. I mean multiple armor later. He's going uh, for the swipe. Okay. Ah, huh, okay. Well, I guess that's fair. But he needs to. He really needs to draw the force now. I, I think he could have just tried to like win the game with what he already had in his hand. Mm. I mean, Trump dropped to 15 points of health. That's uh, actually yeah. It's it's very low, but I mean, he's, he could have dealt quite a bit more. Hasu is not gonna have like anything left after this. Oh, well, looks like the spell broker gonna come out. Okay. So. He might not actually even like manage to establish another board anymore, and then the roar will be just waiting for the force. Well, he can just kill the spellbreaker now with keeper, That's and, true. Uh, and if he gets some, a five drop, that would be huge. Okay. Sp Spider is okay. This yeah. is not the worst thing ever. Well, it's important to have a minion. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he would have preferred like a chill with Yeti or, or Shade <laughs> of Naxxramas, but it's uh, it's a minion that he can play right now. And you now. know what? It's like uh, Trump's turn 7 is not exciting at all. I mean, there is this ghoul, but uh, yeah. so I guess he's like shield block first to draw a card. He should be a bit scared of the combo, but on yeah. the other hand, uh, like, is, he, is he dead anyway with like a shield block? So, was there, like the, the strongest defensive play would be the shield block, armor up and drop the ghoul. Yeah. So he would move up to 19. 
I think, okay, with one card in hand, I could see him playing corn. Uh, oh, wow, he's okay, not he expecting the combo at all. How no. much damage is it? Six, he's, eight, he, yes. he's just saying there's no way uh, that you're going to draw into the combo. He has ten, right now, 10 damage right now. Yeah. Do you go for this 10 damage? You probably don't go for it. He doesn't have the follow-up. Yeah, it's like you, you drop the Yeti and it's just stuck for free. Yeah, he probably has Four. to wait now. Yeah, because you think uh, he's already committed to this path? Like he's absolutely got to wait for the actual combo? Yeah, well, we'll we'll see. I, I mean, he has the spider up, and that's kind of be kind of tricky to deal with. Well, this Karen is huh. not representing anything. I mean, if they if no. if Karen kills the two four, like what are you expecting the Karen to do anyway? I mean, if there is a brawl, then maybe. But uh, you are still getting the spiders at, at okay. least. Harrison Jones is a blank. Yeah, has to shield block. You have to shield block here. Oh, maybe he wants to develop the board and play Black Knight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Well, I think she, I I want to see the unstable ghoul come out, and I want to see him kill this spider as well because the unstable ghoul will deal with that. Can he use Grom, by the way? Shield I mean, no, I don't no, think no, no, yet. No, he would go too low with the, with the Grom. The Yeti would actually survive. Yeah. Or the keeper. So I have five mana. Do you do you even ghoul? Yeah, I think yeah, you I ghoul. Think. You hit the spider. You armor up, and that. That's like protecting against things like Savage Roar pretty well. Yeah, I like it. Because uh, like a Savage Roar next turn is just well, god, savage, savage, so much. Savage Roar next turn is is lethal anyway. Not if he plays a unstable ghoul. No, I mean, I, I, my first instinct was to just kill off the keeper. Yeah, my my first instinct was uh, to kill off the keeper as well. But uh, maybe killing the spider is actually not that bad. I mean, kill the spider and then play okay. the ghoul. Oh, he's just killing the Eddie. Huh. I guess. No, please play the ghoul. Wait, this is how much is this? This is 15, so there's a combo, he's dead. Yep. It's like not respecting the Let's combo see. at all. Oh, oh, but that's not it. Shade is just. The... I guess Trump figured out that if there was a combo, it would have already lost it. Yeah. <laughs> I think that he's probably by now looking at this, and the fact that one card's been in hand for this long, he has to know this is uh, one of the combo pieces. Yeah, probably. It's more like he's keeping. Uh, he's playing for the win. Like he. Assesses that if there is a combo, I'm dead anyway. Wow. Oh, wow. Extras is actually pretty nice pick up here. I think like the only other card that could be in Hasuops' hand right now would be the last inner weight. Because so that, that yeah. wouldn't be played. And, yeah. Uh, uh. So totally. he, had a, he had a pretty good start, but Trump was actually able to survive. Mm -hmm. And right now it seems like it's. He's over. playing the goal this turn 100%. You sure? Yeah. Alex Straza is a pretty nice play. You yeah, go. I kind of like the Alex Straza. God, I I want to see him kill the spider token, the spider, and play the. the That's goal, 18, you know? right? So combo is still lethal. Yeah. Yep, it is. And I feel I, like dealing with these spiders is so important, but well, not gonna see it. So that's 11 plus four. It, I, it has 15 damage right now. <laughs> He's so close every turn. Yep. Oh my god. So tough. Well, he can still wait. I mean. There is no second Alex Straza going into his face. So this is 14 plus uh, 12, that's 26, so he's not dead anyway. So the goal will be annoying, but he still has one turn at least to draw the combo. It's really tough turn. I mean, I guess you Ooh. you don't draw, you keep the shade instead. What, what do you swipe? Do you swipe the... Core? Swipe face. Why not swipe face and deal total yeah. of 6 points Yeah, yeah. yeah. If I like deals, it. If you deal 6, then uh, Shade is a possible 6, so you, so you deal 20. So then even if there is a second shield block and an and a armor up, you're still winning this. Yeah, I guess that's alright. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. This is actually kind of interesting, because Trump has avoided killing off these spiders for so long now. What are the odds he's going to run an 8-7 and a 4-4 four, four in? Because that gives him a lot of damage still on that board. That's 8 plus 5? No, that gets plus 1, so 8 well, plus 6, so that's 14. So he has to armor up or he can die. Force of Nature is and still then actually he can. He's still dead to the combo, yeah. no matter what he does. I, I really want well, he has to play Unstable Ghoul. I really want Trump to win, but on the other hand, I'm really waiting for this Force of Nature to finally come. What do you guys think of just playing the Unstable Ghoul, playing Chromash, and going face with like a for, for 16? And uh, forcing him to get the combo next there, time. Well, then he will be able to play, to kill Gromash with Savage Roar if he has one. So I'm not sure if I want to spend kill that. Kill the Gromash? What? what, what who cares it, what about killing yeah, Gromash? Yeah, who though? cares about Gromash? 
Then I like it. If nobody cares about the Grammar, the spiders don't matter. So if he actually drops yeah, cool Chrome, I think the only way to lose is the combo. But he's dead to the combo no matter what. Okay, so why so not put your opponent on a clock here? Wait, with the Black Knight, is he still? I mean, uh, not the Black Knight. Then yeah, I guess. Goal. Yeah, he is still dead to it. He is still, he? He's dead. still yeah, dead. Yeah, so I like I like the the. Wow, play. I actually think that's yeah easily the best play. Now that I think about it more. And you just go drop face. The goal, drop the Chrome. Yes. Way to go, Trump. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait. Whoa, whoa. There's like no reason for this. He's still well, dead now there's the combo. I guess he's... And if there's a combo... But he doesn't have lethal dead. set up for next turn no, now. No, Trump doesn't have it. Oh, no. wait. Is he dead now? No. Uh, so wait, if he plays he's this... Well, one off, one damage. One, one damage, damage off lethal? What? He's been between one and three damage off oh lethal for like God. seven turns or something. How is it even possible? This is so crazy. Yeah, he is actually one damage off. That is craziness. That's because he attacked with a spider into the 2-2. If he would attack face with that 1-2 spider, that would be the one damage he's missing now. Because the 2-2 Taskmaster didn't even matter. Okay. It did not, but that prevented a lot of damage. There would have been lethal the next turn for him? Because he attacked for 12. And oh, wait, no, no, you're still right. Um... But, I mean, I I think he should have dealt with the spiders a lot earlier with this ghoul anyways, but... I mean, is I, this where you you play all these cards out real quick and you hit well played and you hope that they leave? <laughs> you, like, pull a reels and try to trick them into leaving the game? Sometimes you can do this you stuff. Can, you can do it with, if you ch only have the force of nature, but if you only have savage three, it doesn't quite work that well, because you can, like, throw the force and then do the well played. And then hope... Uh, by the way, one thing that Trump might have been playing around when he when he didn't uh, when he cleared the one once last turn was that if there actually was a keeper of the grove and uh, and savage roar, then he could silence the the taunt and the savage roar for like uh, exactly lethal. Mm. But he still didn't need to clear both of those. Wait, this is still not over. Still lethal if he He's... draws into the combo. Oh, yep. oh not oh. anymore. Oh. Not, well, any, not anymore. That's it's... that. I think and this now, game's over if now. he draws into into Force yes, of Nature, that would be it. so sad. Let's see it. So it's, sad. Uh, uh, please don't, just don't. Don't, don't draw into don't, Force. Don't draw the Force now. That's just don't, just don't. You. Oh, he got a block thing, but yeah. it's over anyway. Yes. I was actually really hoping he'd draw into it. Uh, yeah, you're a cruel man. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is that, and it looks like Trump gonna pick up this victory three to zero over Hasuobs. I think Hasuobs played pretty well overall, though. Yeah, I yeah, think so that's, too. that was really good. And um, but Trambo uh, also played really well with his war deck. And, yeah. Um, Warrior being super strong, a very flexible, good.